Hello and welcome to this HOG4 tutorial which will take a look at directly controlling DMX output by DMX test and also ArtNet input. The outputs of internal or external DP8000s are typically controlled by HOGNET from the console. The values of DMX channels are determined by which fixtures are patched and how they have been programmed in the show file. They are displayed in the DMX output window. To open the DMX output window, press the setup key followed by the DMX button on the main toolbar. In this window, all 512 channels of each selected universe are displayed. You can change which universe is in view by selecting the desired DP8000 and one of its 16 universes from the drop-down menus. From this window, the DMX channels can be directly controlled by two methods, DMX test and ArtNet input. We shall firstly look at DMX test. Firstly, note that the channels are currently displayed in black. This indicates that they are being controlled by HogNet from the console. Blank channels indicate that no fixtures have been patched to them. To directly control a channel, double click on it or select it and press the set key. Enter a DMX value between 0 and 255 followed by enter. This can also be done for a range of channels by dragging over them and pressing the set key. Note that these channels are now displayed in blue, indicating that they are being manually controlled by DMX test. To set the channels back to HogNet control, reselect them by dragging over them and press the Set to HogNet input button. It is also possible to flash through the channels. To do this, select a channel and press the Test button. This will set it at a value of 255. You can then use the right and left cursor keys to step through the channels one at a time. Deselect the test button to exit this function. Next we shall look at controlling the channels by ArtNet input. The source of ArtNet would usually be from another console. Like with DMX test, select a channel or drag over a range of channels and this time press the Set to ArtNet input button. They will now be displayed in red indicating that they will be controlled by an external ARTNET source. Now open the network window by pressing the setup key followed by the network button on the main toolbar. Select the DP8000, press the settings button followed by the ARTNET input tab. Enable ARTNET input for the required HOG universes by pressing the plus buttons and also configure which ARTNET subnet and universe each should be receiving. Ensure that your system is not set to be outputting the same ArtNet subnet and universe settings as you are receiving via ArtNet input. Finally, just as you would with outputting ArtNet, you must ensure that you have configured your FixtureNet IP address and subnet mask appropriately for your network. Going back to the DMX output window, you will now see the values for the incoming ArtNet. Like with DMX test, to revert back to HogNet control of these channels, just reselect them and once again press the Set to HogNet input button. In the next tutorial, we will take a look at one of the new version 3 features, Plot View. Thank you for watching.